Hello everybody and welcome back to my classic USFL franchise with the New Orleans Breakers on Madden 25. We're in week two now and our next matchup is against the San Antonio Gunslingers who did lose last week. So we're, and of course we're 1-0 after our victory over the, ball, over the Birmingham Stallions last week. So before progressing any further this week, let's go ahead and go through practice as always and see what progressions our team has made during the week. So as we look at the week two practice results here, some modest gains at the cornerback position, nothing earth shattering. Deshaun Vaughn, our backup, one of our backup running backs, had an elite practice, getting a bunch of gains in potential and actual ratings, uh, getting plus one juke move, break tackle, and ball carrier vision. Good to see that. He's up to 71 overall now. Blake Hantz, our backup guard, also had an elite practice, getting some potentials in pass block and awareness. And gaining plus three in his actual awareness to get to a 78 in awareness. Uh, he, that bumps him up to a 65 overall. Bailey Zapp, our backup quarterback who actually got some playing time last week after C.J. Stroud had to leave the game. Did actually, he actually did a pretty good job. I believe he scored a he had a touchdown pass in the game. Uh... Good to see him getting some good practice, getting some progressions here, getting plus one in play action and some throw accuracy in, in mid-range and short. So he's up, he goes up to a 65 overall. And our receiver receiving group seemed to do pretty well. Also, Brian Thomas Jr., our rookie wideout. We actually have two wideouts who have a, I forgot what do you call that, but they have, we don't know what their dev trait, dev ability is. But they made some gains there, uh, in physical gains, both Javon Baker and Brian Thomas Jr. Getting some stamina and change of direction there, that's usually harder to do. So some modest gains for the breakers this week. <clears throat> Checking the overall progress. And after two weeks, we can see here a bunch of players getting at least one point gain there. And looking across the USFL, well, they even have somebody who got it, who's gotten a plus three on their overall just after two weeks. That is George Karlaftis. So some players making even bigger gains. All right, let's go back in game. And start getting ready for kickoff against the San Antonio Gunslingers. All right, so checking the injury situation. Um, unfortunately, last week, as you recall, James Conner got injured last week. And he's going to be out for three weeks. So I think we're going to need to promote one of our running backs from the practice squad to the active roster so that we have three running backs on the active roster. Let's go ahead and do that. And we have Amari DeMarcado. It seems like these names are getting harder and harder to pronounce every year. Let's go ahead and, prom and promote him to the active roster. And we're going to move Isaiah McGuire to the practice squad. He's just a 66 overall. We don't need another, we don't need three defensive end, left defensive ends on the active roster. Oh, but we do have Kalaja Kansi who's injured. 
So let's go ahead and deal with that. We may we may need to bring him back onto the active roster. All right, and to to release one player, I think we're just going to release Andre Smith here. I can't move him to the practice squad, so I'm just going to release him. And that should mean we do have one free spot on our practice squad. So let's go ahead and pra let's go ahead and sign one player to the practice squad. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and sign Max Borgi, a running back, to the practice squad as I do not as I do not have another running back on the practice squad. And that should fill out our roster. We actually have two defensive ends that are injured. We have, we have Isaiah McGuire. I didn't notice that he was injured. And we also have Kalajic Kansi. So that's that gives us a, a numbers problem. So let's go ahead and sign a defensive end to the practice squad. Try right defensive end first. And we have Jerry Ru Jerry Hughes, who's a speed rusher. He's 36 years old, but I don't really care at this point. Um Let's go ahead and sign him. That gives us some help at defensive end. And we need to cut one more player. I'm gonna get cut Josh Wallace here as I don't need I don't want that many corners on the practice squad. And I'm going to move Wanya Morris to the practice squad. That will give us three tackles on the active roster. I don't think I need four. That takes care of that. Let's make sure our depth chart is correct at the tackle position. All right, we'll move Anton Harrison to left tackle if Darasaw gets injured. Let's hope that does not happen. And of course, we have Harrison starting at right tackle, and we'll have Nathan Thomas back him up. So I think we're good there. Let's check the running back rotation real quick. I think we're good there as well. So Connor was our power halfback. Uh, I hate putting the extra load on Austin Eckler. I'm wondering if we should, I think we should maybe give Kate, Kate Kishon Vaughn a chance here at the power halfback position. It's kind of a tough call. We'll do that. We'll put Eckler behind him. All right, that should take care of that. Let's go ahead and do our storyline, our press conference. Who knows what's going to happen here. It'd be nice to have some audio with these scenes. Coach, how do you feel about the result in your season opener? Very happy with how the players battled. Who deserves the most credit? Oh, I hate these, I hate these things here. Uh, I'm going to say the defense. Our defense really played well for us. Which players got the game ball? 
Let's see. I guess this means where do we want the boost? I'm going to go with our defensive ends. Since we got some injuries there. I'm sure your players will have a reaction to you saying that. Plus three to block shedding and power moves next week. All right. I'll take that. All right, and we we another injury I didn't see. I, I thought this was a pre-existing injury, but it's not. Wandale Robinson. So that gives us five wide receivers on the active roster. I think I'm okay with that. We just need to move Juwan Johnson into the sixth slot here because he's kind of a hybrid type player. And we should be good to go there. All right, let's take a look, quick look at the San Antonio Gunslingers. And see who, see who they have on their team. So, looks like their top five pl players are all on defense. So they're, you know, based on that and their over their the overall rating, they're they're are de more of a defensive team. Their starting quarterback is Gardner Minshew. So yeah, so they're definitely, uh, they definitely appear to be a defensive team. They have Rashad White and Isaiah Spiller at running back. Christian Kirk is their best wide receiver, so this is definitely a, a defensive team, as there's really not many playmakers on there offensively for them. Uh, their offensive line appears to be average as well, so tough defensive team. They're 87 overall on defense, higher than us. So let's see if we can beat the Gunslingers. Let's go to San Antonio. The icebreakers will be kicking it off the start. And the gunslingers will start at the 25 yard line as Gardner Minshew comes on to the field. The gunslingers losing 28 to 20 to the Ohio Glory last week in Ohio. This is their first home game this season. And White has nowhere to go as a flag that hits the field on our first play of the game. And it looks like it's going to be illegal block in the back on Christian Watson, one of the wideouts. The first and 20. White makes a couple guys miss and gets about three yards. Breakers run defense was excellent last week. Let's see if they can keep that up. As Isaiah Stiller gets his first carry, but no game. Chris Jones, star defensive tackle, makes the tackle there. Third and very long for San Antonio. And Minshew completes it. That is a first down to Watson. And he takes it all the way to the 49 yard line. Gardner Minshew had a solid pocket to work with there. And Watson was able to get open on the outside. Minshew completes it. As likely to tight end. That's a first down at the 37 yard line of New Orleans. White gets three yards on the first down and carry. And 
very bad pass there by Minshew. It hits the defense, somebody on the defensive line is able to tip it third down and seven. And that is dropped by Watson there. And Wallace catches a break there, and San Antonio's got to take a long field goal here. This will be a 51 yard field goal attempt. And he kicks it through. And it's 3 0 San Antonio. C.J. Stroud comes onto the field now. Stroud did get hurt last game. So hopefully he's able to stay in the, into, in the entire game this week. And has no lingering effect from last week. Breakers start out at the 28-yard line. Stroud completes it for seven yards as Chris Olave. It's going to be second down and three for the Breakers. Stroud completes it. I didn't make out who made that catch, but it was a good catch along the sidelines. First down and 10 for the Breakers at the 47-yard line of San Antonio. Stroud, here's Johnson there. The tight end for five yards. Be second down and five. Eckler in the backfield with Stroud. Eckler with the carry. Has some room. The biggest say he's short of the first down. So this will be third down and in inches. Breakers, of course, a little bit short here at running back today. With Connor out. Third down and in and inches. Eckler goes in motion. Stroud throws it along the right sideline. It is caught down to the 27-yard line is Jawan Johnson, the tight end. He was able to get some space between him and the defender. And the Breakers get a first down on their opening drive. Eckler goes in motion once again. Stroud throws it to Eckler. And he fights his way to the 19-yard line. Where it's going to be second down and three. Stroud getting blitzed and he goes down at the 25-yard line. As Brooks was coming, was blitzing out of the secondary. That's going to make a third down and nine for New Orleans. Stroud throws it and it's caught by number 82, and he's going to score a touchdown. That is Kylan Grants in the backup tight end. Breakers are going to take the lead on their first offensive possession. Will Lux lining up for the point after. Yeah. It is a 7 3 lead for the Breakers. 
Pass caught by Eckler up the middle. He breaks a tackle. He went backwards a little bit, so he did not get the first down. The second down inches. Stroud getting chased, and he's going to go down as Gunslinger's blitz get to him. That's a big time loss there. And Rashawn Jenkins gets the sack. It's going to be third down and 11 now after the breakers had it second in inches. Stroud getting chased again, and he's really down once again. As Jenkins gets the sack once again. And he gets a second sack in a row. As the bullets, the breakers are just not picking up the bullets. San Antonio's got a good field position. They're going to be starting at the 48-yard line. A quick throw by Minshew that time. Completes it for four yards. Baker showing blitz here. And the bench singers run right into it. That's a one yard gain, it's third and five. Brings up third and five. decide to run the ball there. It's gonna be fourth down and three. Let's see if they go for it. Here. I can see I can see them going for it here or punting. You can do either way, either one. Some coaches elect to go for it, and they're going to go for it. Fourth down in three. And Minshew misfires that time. And so the Breakers are going to get the ball at the 45-yard line. Stroud with the short completion for three yards. They didn't catch the number on who caught that, but it's third down and eight. Stroud throws it deep and that is caught. That is chosen. Nice catch there as it was covered pretty well. There's going to be a first down for the Breakers at the 30 yard line of San Antonio. Stroud throws it deep and that was deflected at the last minute there by Humphrey. It looked like it was going to be caught for a touchdown just for a brief second, but it was slightly. And Stroud completes it to Eckler there up the middle. It's going to be third down and five. And Stroud throws it. Over the middle, it is caught for a first down as Bates makes the catch. Over the drive's going to continue for New Orleans. 
Eckler in the backfield with Brown. Crowd throws it towards the end zone. There it is. Battered away. Uh, Jenkins had good coverage there. It's going to be second down 10. Now throws it towards the end zone. Incomplete as Alave could not get to it. Well, it's going to be third down and 10 now. Kyle can't find anybody. He throws it. Dangerous throw there towards the corner of the end zone. They had, they had double coverage there. And so the breakers got to attempt the field goal here. This be a chip shot, 30 yard attempt. It is good. And so the breakers extend their lead to 10 to 6 as Will Lutz makes the 30 yard field goal. White gets the handoff. And he fights his way for three yards. Benji dumps it off at number 80. He has some room. He's speeding past the defender. That is likely the speedy tight end. He's down all the way to the 31 yard line as nobody was near him. And Minshew completes it once again as Aguilar. That's another San Antonio first down at the 21 yard line. And I guess they're going to say that was out of bounds as it is second and 10. Venture completes it over the middle. That's going to be a seven yard gain. Third and three. And that's going to be a first down as they hand it off to Spiller for the first down. Likely he could not hang on to it. That was a ball that should have been caught. But luckily for the breakers, he couldn't hang on. Second down and 10. And White gets a tough three yards. This could be third down and seven. And we reached two, two minute warning. Bunslinger is threatening to take the lead here in the red zone. But it is third and seven now. Mitchell throws in the end zone. It is almost intercepted. As Greenlaw had it for a second there. But San Antonio lucked out there. And they're going to have to settle for a field goal account. And the Gunslingers kick their third field goal of the half. As Blankenship is three for three. Benzling is a blitzing once again, and this time Stroud's able to get rid of it to Alave, and he's still running all the way down to the 35 yard line. But the Breakers make the Gunslingers pay for blitzing that time after giving up a couple of sacks last drive. It's first down and 10 at the 35. Crowd hands it off to Eckler. And he gets about six yards. 
Clock's still running, under a minute now. Second down and four. Eckler with this short reception there for four yards. This could be third down and six as New Orleans spends their first time out. And it's a draw play. Vaughn. And so that's going to be a fourth down situation for the Breakers. And they decided to call a draw play there. That did not work, and worse than that, they missed the kick. Will Lutz misses a 48-yard field goal by hitting the left upright. But the Breakers still go, still are up 10 to nine and a half. Johnson with another catch for another first down. That is six catches for Dewan Johnson. Eckler goes in motion. Foul back to throw once again. And this time it's tipped to the line of scrimmage. That's going to be second down and 10. Getting pressured and he completes it. Olave still running at the past the 20 yard line to the 18 yard line. That looked to be a dangerous throw, but Olave was able to come up with it. Olave making a nice grab there. And so the Breakers are going to have first have it first and 10 at the 18 yard line of San Antonio. Eckler with the handoff. He fumbled the ball, but Jawan Johnson falls on it. And there's a gunslinger who's injured on the field. That is McKinch McKinstry. He's going to the locker room. Second down and 10. For the breakers. Nowhere to go. Third down and 12. Stroud in the in the shotgun. Kyle throws it towards the end zone, but it is battered away. Tom Frey was right there. So this will be a field goal attempt for the Breakers. Chip shot field goal. This will be a 36, 37-yard attempt. And Lutz gets that one. And it is 13 to nine, New Orleans. So this will be first down for the Breakers. Fights his way to the left side and he manages to get four yards. And he could completely get the corner. And Vaughn gets the carry that time and he gets a couple yards. This could be third down and four. Stroud in the shotgun. Uh, 
Stroud finds Juwan Johnson for the first down. And a movie change. Echo with the handoff. And he gets another four yards to the 27 yard line. Stroud getting a little bit of pressure there, throws it away. And we'll see another field goal attempt. We see a 44-yard attempt for Will Lutz. He's two for three today. And he nails that one. And it is 16 to nine, New Orleans. Both defenses playing tough red zone defense in this one as both teams have three field goals. We knew this would be a defensive grudge match as the return man for San Antonio appears to be injured as he goes to the sidelines. Minshew hands it off to White, but no, nowhere to go for White once again. Loss of two yards. Minshew gets it to Watson. It's a seven yard gain. This could be third down and five. Minshew throws it, and that is caught. Kirk has it all the way to the 42-yard line of New Orleans. Down the seam there. That's a big play that San Antonio needed. Pistol formation for the gunslinger. White was hit hard there after gaining just two yards. It's going to be second down and eight. Minshew completes it. It's going to be third down and three. Gunslinger decide to run it on third and three, and they do not get it. They're not even come close to getting it. That's just going to be another long field goal attempt for, for the Gunslinger. And that's the end of the third quarter. It is 16-9 in a defensive struggle. And San Antonio decides to go for it here on fourth and four. Minshew in trouble, and he's going to go down for a sack. That is a big play for the Breakers' defense. And San Antonio changed their mind on kicking the field goal, and they pay for it. And Minshew can play for it. Watson, and he's gone. Touchdown, San Antonio. The 
And boy, did they take advantage of the missed field goal. First play after the missed field goal. And Minshew throws a 70 yard touchdown. And just like that, San Antonio can tie it with the extra point. tied at 16 as the Gunslingers get a 68-yard touchdown on a one-play drive. And this is a good return here for New Orleans down to the 38-yard line. Dumps it off to Grants at the tight end. That's a seven yard game. Brown throws it to Olave and he's able to hang on to it. That's a first down. Completes the Eckler as he's hit pretty hard there for a six yard gain. And Stroud finds Branson wide open along the left sideline. He's got it at the 18 yard line. Eckler with the handoff. He has to run to the left side, and he's going to score a touchdown. Austin Eckler. And what a response by the Breakers offense after San Antonio tied it last on their last drive. New Orleans gets a touchdown of their own, and the Breakers take the lead once again. Lutz kicks it through and it is 23 to 16. Stroud comes out in the shotgun. Under seven minutes remaining now. Play action by Stroud. Throws a deep and it is incomplete in front of Jerome Johnson. It's going to be second down to two. Eckler to the left side. No game. And it's going to be third down the ten. Eckler goes in motion. And San Antonio brought the blitz there, but Eckler completes, catches it, and runs all the way to the 31 yard line. So the Gunslingers took a chance there with the Blitz and they died by the Blitz on that play as Eckler takes it to 30 yards. Down at five. 
Down throws it. As Vaughn is wide open along the left side. Let's first down at the 11 yard line. Nice game complete. The second down and 10. Eckler with the carry. And he cannot get the corner as he gets just one yard. It's going to be third down and nine. Breaker's trying to make it a two-score game. And the right tackle moved for the Breakers, and that's going to be a false start. I see that the Breakers call, make this a, make a conservative call here to try and get a two-score lead. Doesn't look like it. It's third down and 14. Down throws it to number 80 up the middle. That was Brian Thomas with his, with his first catch. He's way short of the first down. So Will Wes has missed two field, field goals today. Will can make it a two score game here with his chip shot field goal. And he gets that one. And it is now 26 to 16 New Orleans. But that's a big field goal as it is a two score game now. Shoot comes out in the shotgun. They're down by 10. Minshew hits Watson and he fights his way to the 35 yard line. That's four catches for Watson. And that is finished by White. It's third down and one. Incomplete thrown into the ground and it is going to be fourth down for San Antonio. Last chance for Minshew and the Gunslingers. Fourth down and one. And that is caught. That is Kirk. That's a first down, so the drive will continue. by Likely. Clock still running. Second down and two. And that is broken up. And for Likely once again, it's going to be third down and two. Shoot completes it to Watson once again as we reach the two minute warning. It is 26 to 16. Breakers. As they try to hang on, as the gunslingers are driving. But they need to score quickly. And that is almost intercepted. It's going to be second down and 10. Minshew completes it to Kirk, and he's down to the 22-yard line. As San Antonio uses their first timeout. Likely takes a big hit there. Second down and four. Clock still running. Minshew throws it in the end zone, and it is dropped. 
Wilson had it for a second there. I thought he had a touchdown, but he dropped it. Third down and four. And Minshew's getting chased, and he has to get rid of it. So it's going to be fourth down. Minshew's slow to get up. And he's hurt. Yeah, he is hurt. He's, he came out of the game. So San Antonio's going to try a field goal here. They need 10 points anyway, so they're going to try and kick the field goal here. And it's good. And so they're going to try an onside kick here. And as recovered by the breakers. San Antonio can kill the clock two more times. They do have two timeouts for me. So the Breakers can just try and run the clock out here. They need one first down, I believe. But Eckler gets two yards as San Antonio uses a timeout. It's going to be second down eight. Eckler fights his way to the 36 yard line as San Antonio uses their last timeout. And the Breakers can just kneel it here. going to do it for San Antonio. Breakers win 29 and 19. Breakers defense coming through in a big way in this one. So Breakers get the victory 29 and 19. Breakers holding the Gunslingers rushing attack. 35 total yards as you can see Rashad White 13 attempts only 22 yards averaging only 1.6 yards a carry the gunslingers offensive line just could not block our defensive line so that was a big factor in the game Austin Eckler solid game for him he did have that 18 yard touchdown run he did have a fumble that we did not lose. They did average 4.4 yards a carry. CJ Stroud having a very efficient game, 73, completing 73% of his throws, one touchdown, no interceptions. Minshew was able to get some passing yardage in, you know, trying to come back. But the Breakers defense, I think, definitely won this game. Christian Watson got his yardage. You know, he had the big touchdown reception, the 68-yard touchdown reception. But other than that, it was pretty a dominating performance by the Breakers defense. So definitely a credit to them. Makai Wingo, the rookie out of LSU, had, getting two and a half sacks was definitely a part of that. So with that, I'm going to end the video here. Our breakers go to 2-0. Oh. Our next game is against the Philadelphia Stars. Who I think lost their game. I did live stream that game on my channel. And we're back at home. So I'll see you next time. Be sure and like and subscribe. And have a good one.